Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com. I reviewed the Weebly website builder in 2013, and now two years later in August of 2015, I'm reviewing it again so I can show you what's changed. Weebly went through a major design update since my last video review, so I'll link you to my old review if you'd like to see the old Weebly website builder. A lot more has changed than just the design of the website builder, so let's get right into it so I can show you. So this is what the website builder looks like. You have the website preview and then the actual space where you build your pages in this main area here on the right. You have this blue bar on top to navigate the different areas of the website builder. I'm on the build page right now where you actually build the site, but let me first show you design uh, so that you can see the different themes they offer. Weebly has made some improvements in their design themes uh, over the last two years. Um, they're a little bit more modern, a little bit cleaner. Uh, they continue to add a few designs each month, they say. I haven't kept track, but you can tell there are some newer designs here. So you can preview each one before you choose uh, which s design to use for your site. You can also switch between the themes at any time without losing all your work. I know some website builders, you have to start from scratch if you want to change your design theme. So you can choose different designs. Also in this design uh, area, you can go back and choose different colors, schemes for the different designs. So with the design theme I'm using, it just changes um, some of the accent colors throughout. So I just have it set to green. You can also change fonts in the different areas of the site. You can also change the background. And then there's a few other changes like uh, turning the search box, social icons, and phone number on and off. It looks like those just show up in the header of the site. There is a HTML and CSS editor. For those of you who know those types of code, you can click on that and get into the code of the site to make some uh, specific changes. So that's the design menu. The next one is pages, where you can set up the different pages of your site. Uh, I already have a bunch of pages set up on this site. So I could drag them around to reorder them or create sub menus. I can also add a new page. They give you standard page, blog, a store. Uh, it does have e-commerce built in. Uh, category is a category um, of your e-commerce store. And then product is an e-commerce product. External link would just be a link to an outside uh, website. So if I were to add a standard page, I can give it a name. They have different header types, like tall, short, no header, or you can create landing pages. So they give you some setup in creating pages uh, with a few different layouts. You can change visibility. You can make it public. You can protect it with a password or allow visibility only to specific members or groups. Uh, Weebly does have a membership option on some of their plans. I'm on the pro plan. Uh, so it does have membership. I'm going to do a separate video on that, so I'll link you to that. The advanced settings for a page have some SEO uh, meta information like title, description, and keywords, and then some code integration for people who need it. Uh, the store is where you would manage your e-commerce store. I actually did a separate video on that, so I'll link you to that. But Weebly does allow you to integrate an e-commerce store into your site. It's simple to use, but it does have a lot of features that will allow it to compete with some of the bigger e-commerce platforms like Shopify or Big Commerce, for example. So for people who have a Weebly site or want to build a Weebly site but also want to sell some products, it's a real nice option um, to uh, integrate a store into your site. So check out my other video on that. For now, I'll show you the settings for the site. There are some general settings that I'll just scroll through so you can take a peek. SEO settings for the site. I just showed you there are SEO settings for each page. You can add different editors to the site with different roles if you have different people managing the site. Here's where you can manage the membership of the site. And like I said, I will do a separate video on this. And then the store settings for e-commerce, which has a number of settings here that are covered in my other video. And then some blog settings. Weebly does cater to blogs. There's a lot of website builders out there that don't even have integrated blogs or they just don't offer a lot of options for blogs. 
uh, you could tell right here that Weebly does uh, put a, a strong emphasis on bloggers and websites with blogs because they give you a lot of settings that you can change and once we get into the actual build of the site I'll show you that they provide uh, specific uh, widgets to actually use on the blog they also make it easy for you uh, to create blog posts so let's go back to the build section of the site where we were originally and this is where you can see the actual site manipulate the pages and also add new content so let me go to one page on my site where I have added a lot of sample content you see I have a header slideshow at the top which is only available in upgraded versions of Weebly here I have a text block with an image more text, I have a form here on the left, a button widget, search box, upload file, media player, a map, a YouTube video, and then a block quote here. So the way you would add new content is just by dragging one of these blocks to the page and then you drop it and you'll see these blue lines appear to show you where a widget is going to be dropped. So if I want to put it right under this block quote, I just drop it and it's going to load uh, some text right there. This is just the title. One important thing to note about Weebly is that it uses a boxed layout that pretty much does all the work for you. There's a lot of other website builders that have a layered layout so I could take this new title and drag it right over the video or drag it right on top of this block quote. That's nice uh, for some aspects of designing your site but it also can lead to trouble um, with things getting covered by other elements. Uh, with Weebly, you don't have to worry about that. If I were to drag this anywhere on the page, it's never going to cover another element. I could put it between these elements to create a column. I could put it under here. So it's very easy to drag and drop things and move things around without worrying about um, elements covering other elements. Everything's going to be spaced nicely, um, and Weebly does all that for you. Once an element is dragged to the page, you can always scroll over it and click on this little handle here to move it. The little arrow in the left hand corner of the elements allow you to move or copy an element to the same page or a different page of the site. You can click the X to delete an element. And clicking on any element will bring up some options and the options are different for every element. For example, text is going to bring up this text toolbar to edit text. If I click on the social icons, it'll allow me to change the alignment. And I should be able to add my different URLs for the social profiles and delete the ones I don't want to use. If I click on the map, it brings up some map um, options like the address, width, height, positioning. So all these different elements can be changed in different ways. This button widget will allow me to change alignment, change the link and the styling of the button. So that gives you an idea of how you can create your page. But let me show you all the different widgets they offer. Uh, on the left hand side here, there's all the basic widgets. A lot of them you've seen on my page already. Title, text, image, gallery, slideshows, maps, contact forms, and embed code. If you want to add HTML code to your site, that's useful for like adding code you might get for like a Facebook or Twitter feed. Um, there's structure widgets that are going to allow you to add spacing for example with a divider. Uh, button you've already seen, search box I've already showed you. Um, the spacer would actually be the way to add um, vertical space. And if I keep scrolling down there's some media widgets. Some of these are only available in upgraded versions. You won't see them in the free version of Weebly but they have HD video, audio players, uh, embeddable documents, uh, flash YouTube videos and documents that can be downloaded. You can also uh, drag e-commerce products to any page. You can add a Google AdSense block. Black quote is the one I showed you uh, over here on my page. There's some unique elements under the more category like the ability to add a poll. There's an RSVP form, a survey, forums, feed reader, and bookings, which I believe connects to Bookfresh, which is an appointment booking software. So those are all the elements they allow you to add to your site. Uh, I did show you earlier you can do customizable uh, headers. 
So I can edit this text. I could make this slideshow full width. So there's a lot you could do uh, with headers. You can also customize the footer if you have an upgraded Weebly site. So this footer will show um, on every page of your site. And just to show you some of the different header options, if I click on this link, you'll see a page with no header. My home page has just an image header. And here's what the builder looks like when you click on blog. So I actually have a blog slide. So I actually have a slideshow on my blog page. And then you can see my blog posts and they allow you to use their drag and drop interface to customize your blog. So you can see they have a blog sidebar category with LinkedIn buttons, Flickr badge, blog archives, categories, author, and feeds. So you can drag those elements over to your sidebar of your blog to customize what your blog looks like. And then some other settings for the blog pop up like comments. Um, and then I can just create drafts and new posts right here in the builder. They do have a mobile app that last time I checked you were only able to add blog posts. Um, you're not able to edit your site but you can add blog posts from the uh, Weebly app on your smartphone. So here's what the editor looks like for blog posts. And again, this may not look like much, but a lot of website builders don't even have an integrated blog. So Weebly not only has an integrated blog, but they allow you to add blog posts on a smartphone app. And they also have these dedicated elements for customizing your blog. You can use their website builder interface to create blog posts too. I can drag elements here and it works the same way that the page builder works. So it's a pretty nice option for creating blog posts. I want to show you the options that are made available using the gallery uh, element. So I just dragged the gallery element here and added three photos. And if I click on this, it brings up some options that are pretty handy for those of you who uh, would need to add a gallery to your site. I just added three images. I can easily drag them around. I can add a link to these images so that when someone clicks the image, it links them uh, to another page. I can add a caption to this image. So if I wanted this to link to my store page, I could save that. And then I go into the settings for captions. And I could tell it to display the thumbnails. I could have it display only on only when it's hovered like this. Or I could turn that off. You could do full overlay or partial overlay. So if I wanted to link that to my store page, I just click store page, click save. I'm going to go ahead and publish that. And here on my live site, you see the three images. And then this one should be linked to my store page. And just to show you their slideshow option, let me drag a slideshow to the page. You see they have a number of different options with uh, thumbnails or no thumbnails. I can click continue. I'll upload a few photos. Again, similar to the gallery widget, you can drag them around. You can add captions and hyperlinks. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And here you see there's a large slideshow, and I can always click on it to change a number of options like uh, the transition, navigation, speed, spacing, captions, and some advanced settings. So they do give you a lot of great uh, options for displaying photos on your website. So you can check all this out for yourself by signing up for a free account with Weebly and you'll be able to do a lot of the stuff I showed you. Like I said, some of these elements are only available to uh, upgraded customers. You can read my blog post about Weebly pricing to uh, see what's available at what price because it may change uh, at different times and I'll update it on my blog post. But again, I'm using a pro account in this demo, uh, which gives you access to most of the features that you would need. If you have any questions at all about Weebly, feel free to comment on this video. Make sure to subscribe so that in two years when Weebly updates uh, their website builder again, I can show you all the updates again. Make sure to check out some of my other website builder reviews. If you do want to sign up free for Weebly, make sure to use the link below my video. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.